In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to knit this nice three petal flower. For work, you need two balls of yarn, one is for yarn for the center, a pair of knitting needles, a tapestry needle and a crochet hook. Begin the work by making a slip knot and then with a the cable keston method make 12 more stitches. We need to have 13 stitches to begin knitting. Here I have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and the last one, 13. I have 13 stitches on the main needle. Begin knitting the first petal, first row right side. Knit the first eight stitch and then knit each stitch till you reach the last one. And purl the last eight stitch. Turn, work row two wrong side, slip the eight stitch purl wise. And then purl two stitches together. Continue purl seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the main needle we have three stitches. Purl the next two stitches together and purl the last eight stitch. Turn and begin knitting row three right side. Again, slip the eight stitch on the beginning. Knit nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and purl the last stitch. Turn row four wrong side, slip the eight stitch. Then purl two together and then purl each stitch till the end. Turn row five right side, slip the first stitch purl wise, knit eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and purl the last stitch. Turn row six wrong side, slip the eight stitch purl wise. Then again, repeat the same purl two together, and then purl each stitch till the end. Now turn to the right. We have nine light stitches on the main needle. This is the middle of the petal. Continue with row seven. Slip the first stitch, then knit a stitch till the last one. And purl the last stitch. Turn, work row eight wrong side. In this row, I will start to increase the stitch count. Slip the eight stitch, then purl one back in front and crease. First, purl into the back leg of a stitch. Do not drop the stitch of the main needle and purl into the front leg. Continue purl each stitch across the row. Turn, this is going to be row nine. Right side, slip the each stitch, knit eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and purl the last stitch. Turn, row 10 wrong side, slip the each stitch on the beginning, Purl one back in front and crease. Do the same. First purl into the back leg of a stitch and then into the front leg. Continue purl eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one eight. Turn row 11 right side. Slip the eight stitch, knit each stitch till the last one. purl the last 
last stitch to complete the row. Turn row 12 wrong side, slip the 8th stitch in the beginning, then again purl 1 back in front and crease. Purl into the same stitch twice. And continue purl 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here on the main needle we have 2 stitches. Purl the next stitch twice as we did before, purl into the back leg and then into the front leg and purl the last stitch to complete the row. Now turn to the right, row 13, slip the first stitch, then knit each stitch till the last one and purl the last stitch. Once we're done with this row, we'll have 13 live stitches. It is the same amount that we've started with. Turn row 14 wrong side, slip one and purl each stitch across the row. This is the last row. Now turn to the right and bind off all the stitches by knitting two together. Work till the end of this row making loose stitches. Once you have one loop on the needle, bring it to the main needle to start the next petal. Here is our first petal. Continue and knit two more. Let's begin knitting the second petal. We have one loop on the main needle, cast on 12 more stitches. To begin the work with 13 stitches, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and the last stitch 13. Now work 14 rows of stockinette following the same pattern as for the first petal. First row knit the 8th stitch, then knit 11 and purl the last 8th stitch. Turn, work the second row, slip the 8th stitch purl wise, then purl two together, then purl seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then again purl two together and purl the last stitch to complete the row. Then turn row three, slip one, Knit each stitch till the last one and purl the last stitch. Continue complete the second petal and knit one more to have three petals for the flower. Here I'm working on the last third petal. So far I made a half of it. This is going to be row 7. Slip the first stitch then knit 7 and purl the last stitch. Turn work row 8 wrong side. In this row I'm increasing the stitch count. Slip the 8th stitch purl wise then purl 1 back in front and criss and purl 8th stitch across the row. Turn work row 9. Slip the 8th stitch, knit 8, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight, and purl the last stitch. Turn row 10, wrong side, slip the each stitch for a wise, then purl one back in front and criss, one and two, then purl eight till the end of this row. 
turn, work row 11, right side slip the first stitch, knit 8 stitch till the last one, and purl the last 8 stitch. Turn row 12 wrong side, slip the 8 stitch, then again purl 1 back in front and criss. 1 and 2. And continue purl 7, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 2 stitches on the main needle. Purl into the next stitch twice, 1 and 2, and purl the last 8 stitch. Turn to the right, row 13, slip the 8th stitch, and knit 11. Then to complete the row, purl the last 8th stitch. Turn, work the last row, row 14, slip 1, purl each stitch across. We have 13 left stitches, then turn to the right and bind off all the stitches by knitting two together. Remember, make loose stitches. Once you're done with this row, Cut off the tail, leaving like 20 centimeters long. We made three petals. Now continue working with the tapestry needle. I threaded the tail into the yarn needle and now working on the right side of our fabric, join the first and the last petals together. Do it by making a couple of stitches through the corners. Then we need to fold each petal like this to have opening in the middle. Fix it with a stitch worked through the corners. Do the same with the other two petals going around the center of the flower. And the last petal. Insert the needle in two strands here and in two strands on the other corner. Now pass the yarn through the center to the back and as you can see our flower is ready. Right now I'm going to show you one of the way how you can decorate this flower with fur yarn. Here I threaded the white fur yarn into the needle and now I will close this opening simply by making a seam. Start from the center, do not make a knot, just leave a little tail end that after you are done you can hide it. And now make horizontal stitches, working through the edge stitches here. And the last stitch. I made three stitches. Then you can go backwards to the center and continue doing the same on the next petal. Once you make a seam on each petal of this flower, as I did on my other flower, this one that I made for demonstration, you should do some stitches in the center to make it stronger and at the same time fill it up with the fur yarn. Also, I would like to show you another way how you can complete this flower. The center of this flower you can work a little different. 
I would like to leave these openings as a part of the petals. For work, you need a crochet hook and the same for yarn. With this yarn, I will be crocheting a round of chain stitches in the center. It depends how large you want your center to be. You skip some space away from the center and begin the work. Join the yarn. I am joining the yarn right in the middle of one petal. Then chain one and slip into any stitch on the petal. Then again chain one and slip into any stitch in the fabric. Chain one, then work a slip inserting the hook through two stitches, one stitch on one petal and another one on another one. So as you can see with this slip I joined two petals together and continue the same going all the way around. Here I'm about to complete this round. I'm working the last slip stitch. Then chain one and slip into the first chain stitch. And our flower is ready. We just need to hide the tails. In this tutorial, I showed you how to knit these three petal flowers. The center of my large flower, I worked with a crochet hook working a round of chain stitches. And the pink smaller flower I decorated with a fur yarn working with a tapestry needle. You can experiment and try any other way to make this simple three petal flower unique and more interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more free tutorials.